Simple, calm, uncomplicated, straightforward. These are the words that come to the mind of any observer who views my painting. However, it can be looked at differently. It could mean something else. To me, it reminds me of the ocean. It reminds me of aquatic life. And in a strange sort of way, it's inspiring. It makes me feel like I can dive into anything new and come out stronger and wiser. It's actually my current phone wallpaper. And to all the aspiring artists out there, this may seem like this is something that you can paint yourself. And that's exactly what I aim to do with the time I've been given here today, to give a talk that is simple, uncomplicated, and straightforward. And if you really listen, hopefully you find my journey inspiring. And uh, to all the students out there, I hope that my journey is one that you wish to embark on, a journey fueled simply by a passion, a passion for the world of art. This painting is titled Abundance. What might look fairly simple and hopefully aesthetic is a combination of so many elements. In such limited space of six into six inch canvas, I've used six to eight different colors, textures, and layers. This was my life when I was as old as you high school kids. My life was cluttered with all the subjects I took up in school, my interest for art, and all the added pressure from having to do really good in the board exams. Yet even with the abundance of activities to do in my to-do list, when I went to my room, picked up a pencil, and started a sketch, I had almost the perfect peace of mind. Just like my painting, even in the midst of so much going on around me, art was always order in chaos. This painting is titled The Sunday Market. It shows different directions, crossing paths, interference, thoughts clashing. It may look calm on the outside, but there is a great deal of confusion on the inside. Quite like the Sunday market that I would often visit with my parents when I was younger. And this was me as I neared the end of 10th grade. There were so many paths in front of me, so many roads that I could travel by, and I was confined to choosing just one stream. My heart said, follow your passion, take up art. But the more practical side of me said, take the science field. After hours spent introspecting and taking advice from people around me, I decided to take up science, biology, physics, and chemistry to be specific. This painting is titled Disappear. It involved me using uh, a few simple techniques, creating marks on the paper as I move my brush around. And sometimes with enough paint, the previous layer can completely start to disappear. And as I entered 11th grade, new layers of science projects, science assignments kept piling up, and it seemed as if my base layer, my passion for art, slowly started to disappear. This painting is titled Camouflage. Um, I've used a few techniques trying to blend in different shades, trying to unite the color, trying to make it one. And I realized that as I progressed into 12th grade, I was just trying to blend in with all my science-loving friends. I was excelling in terms of grades, but it just brought me zero satisfaction. I realized that I was just kind of doing what the mainstream society wished me to do. This painting is titled Excavation. It involved me use, uh, digging up various newspaper articles, cutting articles out, uh, compiling pieces together, trying to create a story. And this is exactly what I did when I realized, when I decided that I wanted to take up art. I dug deep into old newspapers in the fear that I had lost my passion for art. I had to cut out certain pieces of articles to make my focus narrower and my goal more specific so that I had a story that I could tell my friends and family. However, my parents, as they had always been, were super supportive about my change in prospective career, and they had given me their blessing. This painting, titled quite rightly, I believe, is called Fruit Ninja. It's exactly what it looks like. Slices of paint across the paper coming together in perfect harmony. And this is me in my life right now. I am doing what I love, and I am changing what's meant to be. My life is in no way simpler than what it would have been if I had pursued science after 12th grade. It is just as hard and tough to make your way through in the field of art. However, this is a challenge that I accept. I'm willing to work hard. I'm willing to stay up at nights painting and just, you know, losing myself uh, sketching and things like that. And this is exactly what I want to share with all of you present here today. I'm sure as you've looked through my paintings, you have uh, associated them to your life in a certain way. And some of you might be juggling around so many different activities at the moment, and you might not have yet found where your passion is and where your heart lies. Some of you, on the other hand, might know what your passion is, but you're burdened with too many activities that you're a part of. And some of you might know what your passion is and you aren't burdened by any activities, but you're just unable to tell your story to the people around you. To all of you, I say move forward. This painting is titled Footsteps. 
It consisted of, it just, I painted small marks closely together on a simple painted canvas. And this is what I'd like to share to all of you. Make sure you leave a mark in whatever it is that you're doing. Make sure your footsteps are visible to everyone around you. First, be true to yourself. Make sure your passion is something that you truly love and you're willing to do for the rest of your life. Second, make sure that you're able to devote sufficient time of your life towards working on your passion. And third, don't be afraid to share your story to the people around you. Your parents love you and are going to be willing to support whatever plan it is that you draw up. And don't ever fear that there aren't enough career opportunities in the field that you desire. For example, art may seem like a field with limited career opportunities, but it is anything but. It has a very niche space for those who truly love it and would like to pursue it. For example, you can become a photographer, an animator, a product designer, a creative director. The list goes on. It's a beautiful process of discovery. And even though everyone warns you about job security and having to work hard, that applies to almost every field out there. And in the art field, there will always be work to fuel your creative energy and pay money. This painting is titled Bird View. It's a variety of different textures, layers, and colors coming together to create a masterpiece. Let all your experiences in your life come together to make a new you each day. Let all your experiences shape you and mold you into someone who is more passionate, confident, and independent. Let all the textures of your life complement each other. Let all your layers overlap each other. And let all the colors of your life spread across the canvas. And let all of this come together to form your love, your passion. Create your own masterpiece. <laughs>